know that 7 out of 10,000 births are affected by spine movement? Spine movement is the most common disabling birth defect. It affects both the brain and the spinal cord. I am one of those people. I was born with spine movement, which my parents were informed of very early on in my mother's pregnancy. Although it's challenging to raise a healthy baby, they had the task of raising a baby with this birth defect. There are often many questions raised when finding out your child has spine movement. And unfortunately, many of these questions cannot be answered. One of the most frequently asked questions is the cause of spine movement. There are both hereditary and environmental causes, but these are still being speculated. Although there is no cure for spine movement, there are many medications and ways of treatment for people with this birth defect to live an almost normal life. So today, I would like to talk to you about the types of spine bifida, the causes, the signs and the symptoms, and the complications the complications due to spine bifida and the treatments for this birth defect. The first thing I would like to talk to you about are the types of spine bifida. There are three types. Spine bifida occulta, which is the mildest form. This form is fairly harmless, involving only a small gap between vertebrae and uh, no disability. The second type is meningocele. This type has the meninges protruding through the opening in the spine, which is usually at the sacral level and has a fluid-filled sac with cerebral spinal fluid, and there is no nerve damage and only minor disability. The third type is myelomeningocele, which is the most severe. This occurs when the meninges and the spinal nerves come through the spine, and there, are, there is nerve damage and severe disability. So you're probably thinking that I have spinal fluid occulta, which I don't. I have the most severe. My own now that you know the types of spine bifida, I would like to tell you what the causes are. There are both hereditary and environmental causes. Lack of folic acid is one of them. Women who do not receive enough folic acid are at higher risk of having a child with spine bifida. Also, <coughs> high fever. Women that are pregnant that have a high fever, they're at higher risk of having a child with spine bifida. That's what happens to my mom. Scientists are also looking into genetics. Uh, it could be caused to, uh, it could be linked to a uh, deformed sperm. The signs and symptoms of spine bifida vary greatly from person to person. Spine bifida occulta is usually found later on in life, not at birth, and it's usually due to an x-ray of the lower back. There are no outward signs. Um, or if it is at birth, uh, it's due to a dimple, a birthmark, or a patch of hair on the lower back, um, or a hemangioma, which is a reddish purple spot on the lower back, and or a fatty lump. Meningocele and myelomeningocele are almost the same. Um, they have a spinal opening or improperly informed vertebrae, or a missing bird right in between. There's also swelling on the on the swelling sac on the back, which is filled with cerebral spinal fluid. Skin may not may or may not cover spinal nerves, and spinal cord tissue is exposed. <coughs> Due to the complications of oh, usually people with spinal fluid have normal intelligence levels. There's complications due to spinal fluid: like loss of muscle sensation, learning disabilities, paralysis, hydrocephalus which is fluid on the brain, bowel and bladder limitations, and a latex allergy. Now, the latex allergy is due to many of the surgeries that are at birth. Due to the complications of spina bifida, there are several treatment options in order to make life a little easier. Surgery, which is, uh, there's a lot of surgery at birth to cover up the uh, spinal nerves. Also shunts. Now a shunt is a tube that runs from your head down through your neck and into your abdominal cavity to drain the spinal fluid. Um, the problem with shunts is they malfunction. They're like lemons. They can malfunction very quickly and you can, you'll end up in emergency surgery. Also for people that are paralyzed, there's wheelchairs, walkers, braces, 
Um, there's many medication for bowel and bladder use, also uh, catheters. Uh, people with spina bifida that are in a wheelchair usually have a bag, but people that are able to walk usually have a catheter, and uh, you catheter yourself every four hours. I hope by sharing this information, it will give you a better insight on what spina bifida really is. I hope you gain knowledge and realize that more than 70,000 people are living with this birth defect.